Hello, hello, I'm Stephanie. Welcome to my sewing room. I have a really fun video I wanna to share today. I made this purse, I really did. Oh my gosh, isn't this cute? So this video is a collab. That's a collaboration with another YouTube creator and she also made this purse. So we're gonna take a look at her. That is Sherry from Granny's Sewing Room. I love her channel. She's just the sweetest person. And when she reached out to me for a collab, or did I reach out to her? I don't remember, but we knew we wanted to do it immediately. It kind of started, I think, when I made the April Slim backpack. I made it twice, and I'm in love with it. And I think uh, Sherry got the idea, whoa, she made a purse. And I stepped into Sherry's territory. She's an amazing purse maker. And every time I make a purse, I'm more aware of how amazing her purse making skills really are because it's hard. It's not totally hard, but it's hard to make them look as good as hers. Okay, let me just say that. But I'm super happy with this one and she picked it so that it would be easy for me. Um, so thank you, Sherry, I appreciate it. But you know, she talks about so much more on her channel than just purse making. Um, she's got all kinds of amazing sewing equipment in her sewing space. And oh my gosh, she's a godly woman. And I have to say, I admire that so, so much about Sherry. And when she prays in her YouTube channel, it just melts my heart because I really admire that about her very much. I think Sherry and I should be besties. We should be able to hang out, go shopping and talk sewing. That's what I think. So when we talked about our collab, we may or may not have talked for quite some time on the phone. <laughs> And we may or may not need to do that again and again and again. And you watching her channel are gonna feel the exact same way. So go take a look. We also said we're gonna make this purse, which I'm gonna talk about in just a minute, plus a surprise. So my surprise is a hat that matches. Isn't that cute? I love it. I love it. So let me start with the purse. This is the Pelican Tote. It is a free pattern and I can't remember who it's by, so I'm gonna put a link to it. I'll put a picture and a link in my description as well as a link in this video. There were a lot of people that made this tote and um, posted pictures on Instagram, and I looked at so many of them, and they often did their own version. Is that cat hair? I have a, I have a cat who never comes out of hiding, but somehow her hair is everywhere. So I did this per the instructions. I mean, I literally followed every piece of what to buy, what to use. I just followed the instructions. I didn't feel confident enough to make any changes. So my fabric is, outdoor fabric is the blue, and then this is a, like a basically a quilting cotton. Basically everything else is a quilting cotton. So this is stiff, but I still put the backing on it that it said in the instructions. And I have to say the instructions were great. And the only thing I did different is my snap is actually just a snap. It's not a metal snap, so it actually snaps. And I put it in after, because I wasn't sure where I wanted it. And if I did the magnet, I'm not sure where that was supposed to go, but I didn't have one, so there you go. I loved picking out my fabrics. Um, I fell in love with this fabric, and it went with this fabric, and then my inside, I have this cool like watercolor and I did this pocket, it has a nice big pocket, whoops, right here. And then uh, inside I used that same watercolor and I decided to add these pockets. That might have not been in the pattern. I think I put those in and I used this stripe and then in here, what's in here? I don't know. Oh, same thing. So this purse, it says tote, but it's more of a purse to me. This is a purse. I would think a tote to me would be a big bag that you would carry stuff in, but this to me is a purse. And oh my gosh, this is gonna be great for summer. It's so cheerful. I do love it very much. And it fits me. It fits me great. Oh my gosh, I love this. So happy with my tote. Will I make another? I, if I was gonna make another purse like this, it would be this pattern, it was super easy. What I would do different, and I suspect maybe Sherry did this because she's so smart and clever, is I would probably not have the snap but have it closed with a zipper. If you've ever had everything fall out of your purse, you know you want a zipper up there. But I didn't know how to do that. 
so I would have to figure that out watch a video I don't know but this was pretty easy to make so if you are new to purse making this might be a good entry level for you because um, it's free and it doesn't take a lot of it uh, it doesn't take a lot of supplies it, you're gonna have to probably get that stiff um, the stiff um, I don't know what would you call that the stiff stuff that holds it and makes it stiff you know in my first April slim backpack I don't like it because I didn't it wasn't stiff enough so on my second April Slim backpack, I did stiffen it. So I knew on this one, I knew better. Don't make it floppy. I won't like it. So there's my, there's my tote. So go look at Sherry's tote. And then my surprise. My surprise, I wanted a sun hat to match. So I chose this fabric and this fabric. And I did um, line it with something to make it stiffer, even though this fabric is kind of stiff all by itself. And I followed a video. I got it on my phone here. How to make a reversible wide brim hat by Mi, Mi, Mishi Stitches. And um, it's self-drafted, so you basically just follow her instructions and she walks you through measuring based on your head and making this hat. And I want to say um, how much I love this hat, but I don't. I'm just going to be honest. I never could get this to actually measure out. I never could get it to match like when you started sewing these pieces together it just didn't match. this is one piece okay this is one piece so it has to match when you start pinning this together right here it has to match and mine just never did um i mean obviously i got it to work because here it is but man it's just not it just didn't come out right and also um i don't love the way it fits this is just too it's, it just sits on my head and I want it to come down to about here. Um, and it's supposed to be reversible, but I messed up I messed up the um, back on this so much that I think it's pooky. But I guess I could wear that. I guess I could wear that this way. Actually, I don't mind it. Okay, so I don't hate it. Uh, will I wear this? Probably not because I can't hold it on my head. Like it's just sitting on top of my head and I like a hat that, you know, it stays. So, it's a pretty little experiment. Sherry, if you made a hat, I'm going to go look and see what you made because it's probably fabulous. And mine is just going to sit on my beautiful hat shelf in my closet. <laughs> so, that is what I have to say about that. I really enjoyed this was a push out of my comfort zone. Both of these were pushed out of my comfort zone. And I think we need to do that sometimes, you know, just try something different because uh, you never know where that's going to take you. And I do love purse making, but I feel like I would rather make clothes. And also, can I say this? I love these patterns, this pattern of this fabric. It's so gorgeous. And I really enjoyed the mixing and matching. Um, I think that's why quilting is so appealing to so many people because you really get to play with mixing colors and yet I had a hard time figuring out what to even wear in this video that would go with this so I'm wearing black I happen to have it on this morning <laughs> it's just a black tunic I didn't make it uh but what would I wear what would I wear this purse I would have to wear a solid it's not gonna, I'm finding trouble mixing, finding, making these fabulous purses. My two April Slim backpacks are also heavy on the prints. And it just feels, I don't wanna be matchy matchy, but I've always worn a solid color purse. So maybe this would be cute with some solid colors, just classy, classic, I don't know. What's your feedback on that? How do you mix these patterns and then wear them with your clothes? If you like, I'm heavy into patterns. I like to wear a pattern in my clothes. I don't know how to wear that with this. So, I don't know. What would I wear this with? I am thinking of making something solid just to wear it with. <laughs> I don't know. Do I want to make a dress to match a purse? Would you make a dress to match a purse? <sighs> so the hat for me is a fail because I have a big, big head and it just didn't fit. You know, and that's why I want to make hats because I love wearing them and it's hard to find because I have a big head. And um, 
that's hard to, you know, hat size. Women's hats don't come in sizes because we all apparently have the same size head. Crazy, right? Because we don't. And so uh, if you've got a small head, you probably fit everything. But if you've got a large head, no. Men's hats have different sizes. I will be making another sun hat, white brim sun hat, but it won't be this pattern. I just really didn't like the the bucket hat. I want to. I think I'm going to do the round one next time and maybe put a really cool like scarf on the back. So, anywho, I'm going to try and take a cute picture in it, but don't be fooled. I didn't like this hat. <laughs> so to recap, I do recommend the Pelican Tote. It is a great project. I would look. I'm going to look for the um, the zipper how to do that because I would love this purse more if it zipped shut on the top. And the hat, I'm still on the search. So hit the subscribe button if you don't mind and the little bell and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. What do you think? How do you mix a pattern when you're, when you're wearing a pattern? What do you do? I would love to know. Please leave a comment. And if you haven't already, go see Sherry at Granny's Sewing Room. It's S-O-W-I-N-G, sewing, so you really enjoy that. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really enjoyed this visit with you, and I hope that you enjoyed it too. So I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye now.